Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back, Force here, and today we will be checking out Assault Android Cactus. This is a twin-stick shoot-em-up in a sci-fi setting that is being developed by Witchbeam, a small independent studio based out of Brisbane, Australia. Uh, the game is built on the Unity engine, and here in this video, like always with checkout videos, I'll be showing you a bit of gameplay as well as giving you my general thoughts and impressions. And this girl keeps waving at something in the distance, I don't know what she's doing. Um, so let's go ahead and hop right into some gameplay here. Uh, I'd like to start off by showing you guys a little bit of the campaign. Um, now this is a preview build of the game. I got access to this not too long ago from the developer and uh, it's a fairly short preview build but I want to show you uh, just a little bit of the more interesting parts of it which is going to include some levels and a boss fight as well. Uh, so we start off the game with access to four different androids. There is Cactus, who the game is named after, Holly, Lemon, and Coral, and then I also unlocked Starch, a fifth android, uh, after defeating the first boss in the game. Now the difference between the androids, besides the visual difference, is that they have different weapons. Uh, so Cactus here has a Assault and Flamethrower, Holly has a Seeker and Cannonball, Lemon has a Spread Shot and Rocket, Coral a Shotgun and Plasma Field, and Starch a Laser and Micro Missile. Uh, we're going to start off, why don't we go ahead and play as Lemon. I like the spread shot here as a basic attack. And uh, we can go ahead and pick our level. Now, as you will notice, uh, the levels are broken up into a fairly simplistic fashion. There's four, uh, there's four basic levels and then a boss fight. And, and this is split up as of now into five stages. Now, the preview build only gave me access up until Influx, and that's as far as I could go. I don't know if the full game is just going to be these five stages or not. It could very well be the case. Um, but this is all I have access to at the moment. So why don't I actually start off here with the, um, yeah, let's start off with the second stage that I had access to, which is the turbine stage. Okay, so gameplay is rather simplistic. You move your character around and you shoot enemies coming at you while trying to avoid incoming projectiles. It's a twin stick shooter. Now twin stick, what does that mean? Two sticks? analog sticks. Uh, controller, that's basically what most people would be led to believe that you should play this game with. Uh, I, however, found that playing with a mouse and keyboard was preferable for me because I liked the accuracy of the mouse uh, over what I was getting with using the right analog stick on a 360 controller to aim. I played the game, I played through several levels with the 360 controller, it's perfectly playable. I, I think that character movement definitely feels better um, when playing with a controller, but in terms of aiming, I definitely feel like I have more precise aiming with the mouse, which I suppose that you know makes perfect sense. But I guess the point is that I just right now prefer to play on the keyboard and mouse uh, for the reason of better aim. That's that's all there is to it. Okay, so let's talk about the user interface and what's going on with everything here. Uh, first of all, the timer in this game is represented with that battery right up top. Now that battery slowly depletes over time and then you pick up these battery, uh, these battery recharges uh, from enemies that drop them when they die. So what'll happen is as you progress the level, that slowly depletes. Um, if you die, for example, that will it will continue to deplete. And if it runs out fully, then you lose the level. It's basically your your zero clock timer, if you will, um, and that's what you want to not happen. So you always want to make sure that the battery pickup is the primary thing you worry about. I mean, dying isn't a big deal because dying in this game just puts you in a down but not out state. Um, you will re revive after just a few seconds. Um, it's definitely not helpful to die. Uh, there's a few things you lose. You lose your weapon upgrade, at least a portion of it, and you're also going to lose, uh, you're also gonna lose some battery in the time while you're down. But, uh, I'm trying to avoid so many shots because I'm actually doing really well right now, surprisingly. Um, this is an early level though, so I guess it's not that surprising. Okay, so yeah, dying isn't the hugest of deals, and why don't I actually just talk about dying with you a little bit right now. Um, so if you take a look at, oh, geez, well that's the end of the level, so we'll go into that at the next level. Uh, why don't we just go ahead and hit, uh, you know what, we'll, let's go back because, we'll go to stage select because I do want to play with a different android for these different, let's play with cactus now. Okay, so she's got the assault and the flamethrower. We just played turbine, let's play filament now. Very short preview build, so I'm definitely going to be able to show you guys uh, quite a bit here. 
Okay, so yeah, once again in the upper left hand corner, that is your health represented in that green bar. Uh, the, your Android name will be represented there as well. Now when it comes to weapon power-ups, you'll notice all these little silvery, uh, silvery spheres that are dropping on the ground when I kill enemies. Picking them up will fill up that white bar that's in the left, and then you get uh, star upgrades for your weapon, starting with one star and continuing to progress. You see I just went to a second star there. That's going to make my primary attack that much more effective. And I'm um, going to switch to the flamethrower here. There we go. Now all secondary attacks are weapons that heat up, if you will. So you can only use uh, you can only use them for so long before they need to recharge. I guess that's the best way to phrase it. So my, my main focus while playing through this game is always going to be get that battery because if if you lose the battery and you and you run out of battery. Uh, up top then that's that um, so even dying again I haven't died yet surprisingly enough expect that to change potentially in this level here um, even though I haven't died yet uh, when I do eventually die you'll see I'm gonna lose some of my uh, my star power up for my primary weapon and then I'll just be revived after a few seconds but yeah dying is obviously a bad idea for multiple reasons Took care of that fool over there. I'm now at a two-star rating. I, I can't believe I haven't died yet. <laughs> Trust me, guys. I'm fully aware that I should not be doing this well. That's why I'm a little just I'm a little in shock at the moment. So there's different enemy types: melee enemies and arranged enemies. Uh, and there's a bunch of melee enemies that desperately trying to avoid I just switch to my flamethrower I guess when they get close now the game there's supposed to be like a story for the game uh, it's something along the lines of cactus is trying to save oh there we go so I died so I tap fire to revive myself quickly however I have lost some of my weapon power up I still have that one star but I have to re recharge now to get up to two stars and also my battery got fairly low in that process um, but we finished the level, so I guess it really isn't that big of a deal. Uh, yeah, the ranking system here, you can see. Get your score, try to get your S rank. That's the top rank, right? I think S rank. Yeah, S rank's supposed to be the top. Okay, so we did that one. We did turbine filament. Let's go to capacitor, and then we'll finish up with uh, the embryo boss fight. For capacitor, we can play a different character. Why don't we play as Coral? She's got the shotgun and the plasma field. I haven't tried this android yet, so I don't exactly know what the plasma field does but we'll find out what the heck is that oh it re ooh it repels it repels uh, bullets that's kind of cool uh, my concern though is that she's only got this short range shotgun as her weapon uh, this is a co-op game though you can play it with up to four people I'm assuming most people probably wouldn't play this game alone I am playing this game alone now, besides powering up your weapon from picking up all these little spheres in the ground, uh, there are other power-ups that you can get. Uh, you can get a speed boost, you can get a temporary attack power-up, which will give you uh, these, two little, these two little spheres that'll come down by you and help, help you attack those things right there. They'll just constantly attack and uh, help you pump out some damage, to say the least. Alright, let's drop the sphere thing because it's just hilarious oh and I think I just did I just lose a battery I think I did and there is my speed charge up there the accelerate man that sphere is actually really really incredibly useful especially since I'm not using um, like I'm not using my secondary nearly as often as I could be so if I start Especially for this secondary, if I start just pumping this out whenever I can. This is incredibly, incredibly useful at avoiding damage. I say that, of course, as I start to take lots of damage. There's another battery. Let's pick that up. You have to say, I found this really, really fun. Uh, now, this game's only halfway through development. Or partway through development. I don't know if saying it's exactly halfway through is the best terminology. I thought that's what the developer told me, but something along those lines. The game is not complete 
completely developed yet, and that's, I guess, why we only have uh, a preview build right now instead of a full build of the game to show you guys. But it is planned for release in 2013 at some point. I don't know if we have a release window outside of that statement, so there you go. All right, now let's go ahead and wrap things up with a boss fight. See how that goes for me. Uh, I did it in the first try last time. Oh, I had zero deaths there. That's really nice to know. Wonderful. Okay, so let's go back to the stage select. I would like to switch up my Android and we will play now as Starch. Ready? There you go. And Embryo, the boss fight. How exciting. Production Overlord, Embryo. All right, so the same rules apply uh, as in a normal level. You've got to make sure that the battery doesn't deplete. Uh, the difference here, though, is that I just have to worry about this one large guy and all of his different attacks. So we're going to start off here with this little, oh my lord, he just almost killed me. Luckily, I should have enough time to recharge health there. There we go. We got to disable, power up, and he's doing a little spinny attack now. Which I will try to avoid! Oh, I took a little bit of damage with that one, but nothing too bad. The problem here is that I'm also missing out on my weapon power-ups that he's dropping. Because I can't get too close. So I gotta be careful. Oh no, what's he doing now? Missiles? Alright, let's switch to my secondary weapon just to show you guys here. I don't know how... You <clears throat> Excuse me. I don't know how good that is against this particular boss, but... What is this? Ah, speed. Nice. No! Dead. Don't laugh at me. Oh my lord. Let's try getting closer for this stuff. Ugh. Really close. Alright, there we go. Moved him into his next phase. What is this? Spinning with all sorts of different things here. Oh gosh. Trying to like focus on moving my character and targeting him at the same time. Can be rather difficult. We're running out of battery. There it is. And speed is helping a lot at this point because he is going crazy mode. No! Excellent. Boss defeated. That was fun, but why are you lying down? <laughs> uh. All right, well, there's the boss fight, and I guess with that, we're going to wrap up our look at Assault Android Cactus. Once again, this is a twin-stick shoot-em-up in a sci-fi setting being developed by Witchbeam. Uh, the game is planned for release sometime in 2013. Now, the game is also on Steam Greenlight. I don't think it's been fully voted through yet, though. So if you like what you saw here today and you want to see this game come to Steam, uh, Go ahead and head on over to the green light page. I'll provide a link in the video description below uh, so you can give this game a thumbs up and hopefully get it onto Steam, give it some more exposure. Some of the game's key features include multiple playable characters, uh, dynamic levels, giant robot bosses, and then of course, co-op play. I think it's a rather fun twin stick shoot 'em up. I like the setting as well. Uh, looking forward to seeing more of this game. The preview build that I had is relatively short, but I liked what I played so far. So there you go, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you like the content, please subscribe, keep watching, and keep owning.